Hello guys, Biker Blazer one here. So uh, today we got the Himalayan, the Royal Enfield Himalayan 411 cc if I'm not wrong. Uh, 26 bhp. We got a. Uh, I'm not sure about the torque. I'm guessing 30, around 30, 32. So um, this is uh, the starting uh, segment for adventure tours this is the cheapest bike you can get here in India uh, that's been available for uh, quite a few years so we got Seat tires there are multi-purpose tires and uh, we got uh, off-road pegs which uh, like it's got rubber on them so you can take them off whenever you're going so it's a five-speed uh, gearbox uh, chain looks a bit rusty but uh, you know we'll just lube and get it done so uh, it's not an LED headlight it comes with the halogen bulb I don't have any of my uh, gear with me so bear with me guys uh, adventure tourer probably kind of upright because I'm used to uh, you know the sport position. So as soon as well as this guy on. So we got the fuel gauge. The this is a com actually a compass. That's a nice touch. Um, RPM, neutral, engine light, uh, battery, ABS. Um, we have the owner right there on the phone. So. Uh, we'll just uh, ask him if the ABS is optional so if we can switch it off and switch it on so we are low on fuel so the first stop is going to be the petrol station um, yeah so let's get going okay. wow that looks dope That's a loud duke. Okay, we got a bit of traffic. So, about the clutch. It's kind of like a tight clutch. Uh, not to my liking. I don't really like it that much. So the clutch is... Uh, uh, I don't like it. This is a PS4 version. It's new. It's brand new. Uh, so... We've done 2000, only 2000 kilometers on this motorcycle. Okay, I don't know if this compass is accurate, but I've never used one, so... Um, so we got trip F, like uh, we do in most vehicles, at the odometer. So it's giving us a temperature of 35 degrees Celsius. I don't know to how much that uh, it is accurate. Filtering isn't that easy with a motorcycle like this. So, yeah, it's uh, kind of a tall motorcycle, but not the tallest, of course. It's taller than what you uh, normal motorcycles, the common ones. We got a lot of traffic today. <laughs> Set up so you can't just fit in through. Okay, this is gonna be a long traffic walk until we clear some traffic. It's 
So I'm guessing this top speed is around 140. So that's what my friend has said, the owner of this vehicle. So a lot, a lot of guys uh, might actually consider this motorcycle because it's the entry level uh, adventure tourer. And now we've got the you know, Honda coming in with a few adventure tourers. Uh, 200cc tiny small capacity motorcycles. Uh, this is just like you know the uh, a normal uh, adventure tourer. It isn't like uh, uh, it's 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 an option for quite a lot of people who do a lot of uh, touring and uh, don't have the budget for like uh, 650. Because in the 600 you've got a lot of options like versus the uh, what is it? 650 versus 650. This we got the Suzuki V Storm. Um, we got a few other 600s like we also have the TRK Final 2. It is a beautiful motorcycle to ride, but obviously you guys probably know about Penali and their maintenance is a big headache. Uh, is what uh, a lot of Benelli owners have told me. So, um, yeah, that's what I've been told. It's amazing to ride, but uh, it's a pain to just own one. So, if you guys like uh, my reviews on what I feel about the bike, when I ride them and uh, what they're capable of. Uh, you guys can tell me what I should ride next. So let me give you the options. This is one uh, is the Yamaha FZ25, a proper street naked motorcycle fit for daily commuting and a bit of touring also. Yes, it is capable of touring. Um, we got the RS200, the Bajaj, the budget uh, sport motorcycles and uh, what is to, uh, we have the RC200 which is again a sport category the RC390 which I've already done so let's not do that uh, what is we have we also have uh, an Activa if you guys want me to do scooters I will be happy because uh, not a lot of many people do scooters because they are not fun to ride, but uh, but you know everybody tends to buy one, and uh, they need to know what it's like before they get one. So I can make videos on scooters too, if you guys want me to. Okay, so far there's no heating or anything. It's uh, good really comfortable uh, but I would like the seat to be a little bit broader because I'm a big big guy I'm a big guy for average Indian standards um, I can't really tell you guys about the suspension yet because we haven't done any off-roading or anything but uh, it's on this off side definitely the racing, it's all right. It's a, uh, it's um, it's okay. Like it's adequate. It's just enough. I don't like them a lot, but they're uh, enough. I'm guessing to stop this uh, race. Himalayan it's not gonna fit so this isn't a motorcycle you should buy if you're doing commuting or whatsoever this is a proper tour and so some of you guys uh, so before you're gonna buy a motorcycle you're gonna have to research every motorcycle right so you're gonna have to buy it based on your purpose and not just looks and power and all that stuff and or else you'll end up regretting getting 
a motorcycle that you just like but uh, when you're using it you're like nah I regret this choice so you're gonna have to buy a motorcycle based on what you uh, wanted to like if you're gonna tour then you should go for a tourer or if you're like occasionally touring and you want a city commuter you live in the city you want to commute go through traffic a lot then I suggest you guys go for a street naked like a proper uh, commuter which has a sort of real risk easy to filter uh, my older FZ is an amazing commuter motorcycle uh, very easy to filter it's very lightweight uh, it's doesn't have an awesome turning radius but uh, it's very quick to sh shifting uh, lanes and stuff so the owner of this motorcycle so he doesn't actually do touring but uh, he got one of these and he was like uh, why did I get uh, an adventure tour because uh, he just does commuting of a couple of kilometers and uh, this thing isn't the best for riding in traffic so, so yeah you're gonna have to buy based on what you wanted to do and uh, your purpose find your purpose and uh, choose according to what you want the bike to do so if any of you have tried off-roading then you might go for this guy. Off-roading is very addictive. Like, like once you start doing off-roading, you will love it. So guys who love off-roading and like just want to learn more, off-roading requires a lot of technique and skill. It isn't that easy. Um, yeah. So this thing has uh, multiple purpose tires as I said earlier and it could do uh, a bunch of off things. Okay, good and traffic. We got a hell of a lot of traffic today guys. <laughs> Especially, what time is it? It's 4.30, peak hour. And, um, it's gonna be hectic. It's gonna take a long time for the follow part. You know what? I guess we'll just take a U-turn. There's not a much, there's not much traffic over on the other side, so. Let's just do a quick uh, walk around until they come. So we got uh, space for luggage. Uh, yeah, you guys can uh, find your carriers around this stuff. Um, so we got a nice bronze touch. Halogen bulbs, not the best of course, you got a high mud guard. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the entire design or anything. So I believe the seat height is around 820 mm, I'm not sure. Uh, let's say the seats are really nice. Even when you're touch like full in, it tends to switch off and uh, the RE guys just say that uh, it's, it's an issue and it can't be fixed. Um, I don't know why though, I feel uh, 
can fix their own stuff. And um, yeah, service is cheap, parts are cheap. Uh, yeah, well, it's a it's an okay motorcycle. So, <coughs> it's an okay motorcycle for me. Like, uh, if you ask me, would I buy it? I don't think so. I'm not a big fan of Royal Enfield, so uh, don't roast me for that. And, uh, just my opinion. Uh, you know, I don't really like riding cars a lot, except for the 650s. Uh, those, yes, those are good motorcycles. You know, they're just fairly developing. They're growing uh, as a motorcycle brand, and uh, it's totally cool. We have a lot of uh, fans in India that also open internationally, so that's cool. Um, the 650 is really a game changer for them. It's a, it's a good motorcycle, and uh, they did spend a lot of time making it. I wouldn't say the 650s are like 100% vibration free uh, you know, that kind of stuff. It's just they minimize it to a maximum and uh, it drives to only about 7,000 RPM and uh, for a sport like a cafe racer, the GT, I would have loved if it could uh, live higher instead of just putting it at uh, 7,000 RPM just so it can uh, get rid of the vibrations or limit the vibrations and claiming that it is 100% vibration free three thousand permission pick up on this motorcycle like, it's okay because that would that's what uh, these kind of motorcycles do especially when you're offering or you know going through slush and all that stuff And uh, it's gonna get dirty. Yeah, a bunch of you guys will be like, "Yay!" I know this place. I almost see it every single day. Anyways, uh, hey, bro. What's up? 
uh, me and him are very good friends. Anyways, uh, how was the headlight? Headlight, no, like in the night, if you see, uh, the dim and dip, the, dip, the dim is actually the dip. Uh, the original headlight, it doesn't focus on the road. It focuses the, goes the, uh, that side. Except the road, everything. Even the low beam? Yeah, even the low beam. Low beam, so, yeah, low beam is pretty good. The spread, how is the spread? No, no, the spread is good. The spread is good. So, yeah. But the high beam, there is no high beam required for this. There is no high beam required? Like, like just the, jet, the low beam itself is that good. And so, the high beam is placed in such a way that it goes so far away. And the road, you can't see the road. Okay, so according to him, the low beam is uh, way sufficient and the high beam isn't uh, really usable, is what he's telling me. So we won't know for real unless we actually test it out. And um, does it heat up? Yeah, it heats up a lot in these areas. When you the so on the sides? Yeah, in the sides. Yeah. Okay. Because I... I Degree Celsius, it shows there. There's a mirror here. Come on, come on. So it's, it's 38 now. When it goes above 42, 43, it heats up a lot. It goes till 49. I tried till 49. I'm not tried. Like, it's gone till 49. Yes, right. This is left indicator, right indicator. We got the neutral here, and this is the engine. So, the one thing yes. I want to talk about this is if there's a fault in this engine, will automatically show whether if it's a fault it will blow yep but every star when you start the key it blows and it goes back so just like a normal ignition yeah, like on ignition and we got the boys yeah. going yeah. jogging jogging <laughs> yeah go for a run and maybe how is the halogen light like w would you have preferred for a, an led light no you know what when you uh, do you, if you want a real good helmet for this, there's, a, there's one in the market, like the white one. But this helmet with the stock... So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Royal Enfield field does have a lot of aftermarket products, but... Uh, yeah, we'll never know unless we totally test it out, so... Um, I feel the brake slack bite. Uh, but the ABS does kick in, but uh, I don't like the bite of the brakes. The but anyways, it's pretty good. But, yeah, it's uh, adequate it, enough. Uh, it's sufficient. It's, not, like, yeah. it's sufficient, but it's, it's not really like. Bike, right? Yeah, yeah. This is a yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. brand new motorcycle, yeah, yeah. and uh, it's just been broken in. So, uh, single cylinder. It's a 411 cc. Yeah. yeah. So we were right on that. So what about the wheelbase? Huh? Wheel wheelbase. So it's quite a long wheelbase. I don't know how much exactly, but uh, I'll show you guys. And the only thing difficult about riding is turnings and in traffic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not that easily filterable. Yeah, maneuverable. Yeah, it's not like because of the uh, tall uh, posture and the, 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 the tall suspension. So, um, yeah, you still have the saddle guard. I still like it, yeah. keeping it original. I have to take that out. Anyways, the, the rear light is LED, right? Yeah, it's LED, but that's yeah. not LED. So, we have Can only change that. LEDs. When you, buy, when you buy a Himalayan, please make sure that we have to make two, two things. One, change that. Another, the headlight. Yeah, headlight. We have to change the headlight. Definitely. Because in the night, it's not that good. Okay, it's not that good. Okay. How is the pillion comfort? I think it's really good, yeah, right? Yeah, seat comfort is very good in this. So, yeah. So, the rider good. is also very comfortable. Yeah. It's a very smooth seat. I, I just personally wish that it was a bit wider for us yeah, uh, big sure. guys. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, the pillion seat is uh, really comfortable. Uh, the tires, they perform... Uh, I did have a bit of grip on the road yeah. and uh, they're not that bad, actually. Pressure, you have to keep the front one as 28 and back as 32. Okay, so 28, 32 yeah, 30. is what the required... Uh, 32 and 28. Okay. So yeah, 32, 28. So, anybody who has a Himalayan, please note. This bike sometimes, you know, like... 
from the BS3 to the BS4, I've written the BS3. Okay. That thing has a lot of power. Like not, can't feel it, but this thing. Like okay, it's comparatively it has a higher uh, yeah. power ratio. Top end is good in that. It will go like easily. It will go 130, 130, okay. 140 nearby. This thing. This thing, yeah, uh, it did feel go, a bit of to top end. A bit. Fourth, if you go to the fourth gear and top RPM, it will go to 120. After that, if you shift so to I'm the fifth gear, it will go to 122. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. Pretty depressing. But then anyways, it's a, it's an adventure tour, right? Yeah, it's yeah. an adventure tour. You guys have the benefits of off-roading. Yeah. Yeah. You have, but it's a multiple piece motorcycle. Smooth seats, nice uh, uplift handle. So, uh, how, how much did you get it for on road? 220. 2.2. 2.2. Uh, yeah, I mean it's good for an adventure tourer, but uh, would I be placing my 2.2 lakhs on a motorcycle like this? Maybe if I was like learning to tour on this thing, then maybe. Um, so, eyewitnesses. Yes, bro. How can I help you? How is the motorcycle? <laughs> pretty lame. Yeah. So uh, uh, these guys are like uh, the fast guys, like they are like uh, sport motorcycles. He is the owner for the RS200, and we have the owner of the FZ25 uh, and RC390. Okay, that's what he says, but he's not really the owner. Okay, so this is roommates. Anyways, anyways, let's uh, check out the exhaust note. To be honest, bro. Okay, it does it. Okay, it's got the nice pop, nice crispy uh, pop to it. Mm. Overall, a taller motorcycle. Uh, it's got a long chain. Yes, it does. It does have a long chain. Um, yeah, okay. Thanks bro, thanks for the bike, uh, we'll fuel up, we'll do some off-road testing and uh, yeah, see you guys there.